Did prohibition give rise to what is known today as macro breweries? Prohibition, uh, there, the, the, for this industry, there can't be a much darker time to talk about. Uh, if you take a look at the the industry right now, with over you know 250,000 people employed in the alcohol beverage industry, it could be devastating to an economy in which it was during prohibition. So yes, only the strongest survived during that time. They would make uh, you know other malt-based beverages, root beer, uh, or they would sell their their malting grains to other companies to for bread manufacturer. Um, so at that time, a lot of the local uh, breweries did not make it through that, that dark time in our history. Um, and, and when you were left at the end, you, you only had the strongest ones left, and that's where uh, uh, commercial beers really uh, took over America. Because um, right after the Great Depression, there was also World War II, and a lot of the ingredients, a lot of uh, rail cars were, were, uh, were uh, held back for the war effort. So there were uh, a lot of uh, transportation issues arose after Great Depression, after uh, the prohibition as well.